Hello. Happy to be here. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to. Well, let me. I'm going to do this little thing. Beep. Boop. Boop. Beep. That's going to do a thing. Yep. All right. There. Now officially. Hi. Welcome to Sunday morning of the MarsCon 2021 comedy music track. Woo! <laughs> so uh, uh, we're going to get right into Ian's video of, of his uh, concert, which is pre-recorded. But first, I figured since they're here, I'd have people say, hi. Hey, look, it's random. Google the mock. <laughs> Yay. Coming up right after Ian's concert, we're going to have an AMA, Ask Me Anything, with rapid-fire questions for Adam and Rand. Uh, and look, hey, it's Christmas Alyssa, Power Salad! Hey! Okay! <laughs> okay, so you guys, uh, at this point, turn your cameras off and microphones off, and uh, we will play uh, the video of Mr. Ian, which I will now start sharing for everybody. So, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. Insane Ian! Woo! And then I click buttons. This thing is it, and then I do this, and then I turn my microphone off. Greetings, Marscon, and welcome to my room. Yes, it's a wonderful sunny day in Chicago in March. How did that happen? Anyway, uh, yes, well, since I am the first act on Sunday, technically that means I can open with this song now. It's another show, another grand opening. You look up to your screen and you see me, now you're an opening. Who's this nerdy white dude with his chubby dad bod rapping over beats that he's playing on his iPod? My God, what is this guy? Where, where though, did they find? Press your ear against the screen so that I can blow your mind. A 40-year-old nerd who never acts his age? So please do me a favor, come up closer to the stage. Unless it's my demeanor that you're finding quite unsettling, I promise not to bite hard, ladies, gentlemen. Everybody's welcome, doesn't matter where you're coming from. All that I will ask Cause if you're ready to have lots of fun So come get some and make some noise It's really super easy And if you like what you see Could you maybe buy a CD? I got them at my website That's not that far a trek But you can do it later This is my sound check It's a grand opening You gotta start with me I'm just the opener Maybe not who you wanna see I'm here to set you up And knock you out And that's a fact A grand opening From this opening act Verse 2 I know you're only here to see the other bands It's not like I need fans, but I could really use some fans Now you don't have to worry, I'm not up here long By the way, did I mention you can find me on Patreon? I'm here to warm you up as I rap and dance and sing If no one pays attention, well it's kind of embarrassing But here's the thing, I'm used to it, occasionally I'll bomb Did a show for three people once and one was my mom But that's my lot in life, I don't mean to be a whiner Always a bridesmaid, never a headliner But what could be finer than to entertain you? Perform while you order drinks is just what I do As the opening act, I get such little respect But I'm the only one on screen now Last time I checked And all those other acts that you came here to see I'm not opening for them They're closing for me Actually, that is entirely not true Please don't tell them I said that I really need this gig Where was I? Oh yeah, it's a grand opening, you gotta start with me I'm just the opener, maybe not who you wanna see I'm here to set you up and knock you out and that's a fact A grand opening from this opening act It's a grand opening, I'll make you love me I'm just the opener, maybe not who you came to see But I hope you like my set and I make an impact My name is Insani and I'm your opening act Thank you So hi MarsCon, yes, how's everyone doing? I can't hear you replying even if you're in the Zoom because this is pre-recorded. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, thanks for saying stuff. Uh, and if you didn't, guess I didn't fool you. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited to be performing again. It's been weird this past year, hasn't it? Because uh, I've kind of been doing new jobs because you know i i usually perform a lot and last year didn't because of obvious reasons and uh it's not just stage performing that i do i'm also an actor sort of and uh conveniently i have a song about that because of course i do 
admittedly this is a cover um my buddy austin from uh, smashy claw and solfage and all those other various and sundry bands that he's in wrote this uh i altered it a little bit to fit the experiences that i have a little bit more but uh enough intro we're gonna do a song now oh yeah and then there's this thing for reasons. I hope this green screen thing works. I was waiting to film my set for this. doing this and not actually hearing applause. Maybe I'll put that in in post. There we go. And I'm back over here now. All of the sequences that you saw in the green screen portion of that, which is now magically down, uh, are all actual appearances of me as an extra in various TV shows and movies. Uh, if you want to see a better version of that, Maybe check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian, where I'm releasing music videos as well as other videos that I do every week and new music every month. Uh, you can check that out. Uh, and uh, the video is coming out soonish. Uh, I've got a couple music videos that I'm working on, and you get to see them there on Patreon before anybody else does. And also, uh, your Patronage helps me make more music videos and more music. Uh, kind of like this next song. This next song is a brand new song that I released on my Patreon back in February. And it's about the other job that I have during the pandemic. If you want the studio version of this, 
you can check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash insane Ian. Yes, I've plugged it twice in the same breath. Technically. Starting up, cause I got a job to do. My day begins at a quarter to the crack of noon, and then soon I'll bring you all sorts of stuff that you never thought I'd have this kind of job at 42. Work where? Well, I don't want to be rude. Drop the name of my job, and I might be sued. But to be fair, I guess it's fair. You a simple name clue, the German word for over, and what you do with food. Anyway, that's to say, the name is weirdly kind of true. But it doesn't matter, cause this platter is just for you. Order on the app, take a nap, it'll arrive soon. You could go yourself and said, I'm waiting in the drive-thru. Finish up, then I'll bring these treats to you. Rack of ribs or a sausage pizza, too. Then I'm out, more deliveries I gotta do. No scenarios, cause this is not a porn shoot. Delivering all the clothes on the beat. Just so I can bring you all you can eat. When you see me zooming down to your street, you know I'm delivering something savory or sweet. Order up all the food you enjoy. For long subs or a tub of bok choy. Bringing it to you if you're in Illinois. It's my job. I'm a delivery boy. For your order, I'm a Jedi master. No one else will ever bring it to your festa. Brought it to your door, please be sure to tip me after. I'm the one who drove 20 minutes for your pasta. Speaking of, take a minute, think this over. Why order ice cream any month after October? I don't really mind the time to be your meal chauffeur, but it wouldn't melt if it came from somewhere closer. In the mood for some food that's so delicious? Don't want to cook yourself or have to do the dishes? Baby, I can bring it no matter what you wish is, just as so long as you remember to update your address. I'm serious, I'm not being rhetorical. Cause when I'm walking with your meal down through your corridor to your apartment, delivering your order, you call me minutes later just to say that you're in Florida? Delivering all these clothes on the beat. Just so I can bring you all you can eat When you see me zooming down to your street You know I'm delivering something savory or sweet Order up all the food you enjoy For long subs or a tub of bok choy Bringing it to you if you're in Illinois It's my job I'm a delivery boy that's not to say this job is super easy That the whole rig and roll is so light and breezy Sometimes it leaves me feeling kinda queasy And not just because all the food is super greasy Like when I'm trying to locate your address And the GPS has got me stressed Heading north on South Street and East Street Heading west saying make a U-turn when I should just turn left In at an object got me feeling so hostile I gotta see it drives me crazy something awful I wish it had a neck so I could strangle it and throttle When it mispronounces Chipotle as Chipotle Never mind all the time I'm spending in my whip having a backtrack because they didn't give me your chip so I get back in my car and I take another trip just to get your whole meal while you give me half a tip. Delivering all these flows on the beat just so I can bring you all you can eat. When you see me zooming down to your street you know I'm delivering something savory or sweet. Order up all the food you enjoy. Put long subs or a tub of bok choy. Bringing it to you if you're in Illinois. It's my job. I'm a delivery boy. This is a true story. Really, it's what I'm doing. All right, I'm a delivery boy. Yeah, that's gonna make a, a good double feature with Driving for Lift by Luke Ski. Just saying. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing over the past year. I've been doing that for a year now because last year has been. Interesting, to say the least. That's why we're doing MarsCon virtually this year. It's been an interesting year. And uh, because of it being an interesting year, I updated a song that I did 10 years ago for 2020. So I'm going to do that now, because segues are hard. the day a couple years ago i rapped about achievements in my old school flow how you do a little thing it raises your gamer score and i always need more because i'm that hardcore but nowadays in this day and age achievements and trophies don't hold the same sway that little pop noise will still bring joys but it's just some toys for serotonin deploys you see achievements lead to bragging rights but why limit them to polygons and sprites now there's no shame in playing games but it's all the same a lame claim to fame i'll beat any boss and complete any quest but to level up my life i gotta be the best 
get a 30 hit combo. Achievement unlocked. Learn to play the banjo. Achievement unlocked. Defeated hundreds of guys. Achievement unlocked. Yeah, but not in real life. Achievement unlocked. Now that helps a little, but not super wildly. And to say last year sucked is putting it mildly. And for some folks, things are taking their toll. For them, maybe that's has some easier goals. We need another source to increase our scores, because they are the force that drives us, of course. Like you game comfortable with your physique, you'd hear that, and it would make you weak. You feel so accomplished when you master a game. Let's get the real world to act the same. If everything in life had some points assigned, we'd all have new ways to feel sublime. I'm telling you, fellas, this is the best idea, and it might be how we get through this. This year. Learned a new dance. Achievement unlocked. No need for pants. Achievement unlocked. Got out of bed. Achievement unlocked. Didn't shave my head. Achievement unlocked. If you can believe it, you can achieve it. Those points, I need it. To survive in this world, ate some checks mix. Achievement unlocked. Binge Netflix. Achievement unlocked. Found a parking spot. Achievement unlocked. Someone thinks you're hot. Achievement unlocked. Made the curve flatter. Achievement unlocked. Supported Black Lives Matter. Achievement unlocked. Helped save the earth. Achievement unlocked. Blocked another turf. Achievement unlocked. Avoided that mosquito. Achievement unlocked. Voted out the Cheeto. Achievement unlocked. Another song done. Achievement unlocked. Reach 2021. Achievement unlocked. Thank God. Yeah, 2020 was, uh, just, just getting through that was an achievement. And uh, a another achievement that is being celebrated, at least in my life, is that last year I got married. Yeah, uh, in fact, today, the day that you're watching this, if you're watching this live, uh, I'm pre-recorded because uh, the date they have me scheduled to perform was my one-year wedding anniversary. <laughs> that's that's why this is being pre-recorded, because uh, it's my one-year wedding anniversary. So uh, let's, let's dig an old song out for reasons. Oh, look, the green screen's back. been a pandemic and I haven't been able to leave the house and see my friends and, and neither of you because it's kind of the way the world is right now. Yeah, I'm not doing this regular version of this song that you guys are familiar with anymore. I don't need to. I'm not saying that the original version was autobiographical, but I'm not not saying it either. But I, I, I don't need to play that song anymore. So, a couple years ago at MarsCon, our music guest of honor was Brentlefloss, who does video game comedy songs. And one of the specific types of video game comedy songs he does is giving lyrics to the instrumental songs you know from games. It's his What If Such and Such Had Lyrics series, or Such and Such With Lyrics. Now, Brent also created a video game himself called Use Your Words. It's a fun party game that you can play with friends uh, using your phone as the controller, or uh, you can do it online in streaming. Uh, it's popular on Twitch and, and with Zoom streams lately, considering the way things are. And many people asked him why he didn't do Use Your Words with lyrics. It's his game, so he didn't. Uh... But I did. I asked him then, at MarsCon a couple years ago, if I could. And so here's this thing now. Oh no. It's time to use your words. The game for comedy nerds. And their unfunny friends. The party never Friends, all in your home, 
Well, here's an excuse to look at your phones. You type some words and fill in blanks. Looks like they owe Jackbox some thanks. Hey! Translate some films. Caption some pics. Just don't fall for the house answer tricks. They'll trick your brain. It's just absurd how they fool you by misspelling words. But don't get distracted, your game won't be impacted by the skulls hit in the background. Use family mode if you cannot have some content offending your grandma. Cause Brent will floss, he is no saint, but somehow his game doesn't have the word taint. Oh, the taint is in there. Trust me. Of course it is. Dude, that's like your catchphrase. Taint is not my catchphrase. Oh, yeah? Well, what is then? I'll get back to you. So much for using your words. The announcer's great. He really fits the mood. Then the whole game ends with a survey like the feud. It's great for let's players and streaming on Twitch. If you don't mind, randos answering everything with bitch. It's a fun party game for three to six friends. It's only 15 minutes, so let's play it again. It's time to use your words. Quip lashes for the birds. So come and join the fun. Then they'll make another one. I've been playing Use Your Words a lot at home lately. And Jackbox. And just anything to get a human connection through Zoom. Anyway, I think that's the last song in my set. Oh, wait, no. I have one more song. Uh, and because this is pre-recorded, that means I can do this. If I'm going to do this song, I, I better look the part. You see, last year I released a tribute album to comedy band Ninja Sex Party. And the lead singer, Danny Sexbang, wears an outfit very similar to this one. Also, I released an EP inspired by Ninja Sex Party at the beginning of this year, called the Sex Training EP. And that's where this song comes from. It's available on my Bandcamp. The link is obviously below. Or if you don't see it, it's insaneian.bandcamp.com. This song is inspired by a title that NSP didn't use for a song title. They had a book full of unused song titles. This was one of them. And I thought, that would actually make a really great song. But instead of pancakes, let's change it to waffles. So that's what I did. And here's this thing. That we shed in my bed Yeah! All last night You know it was awesome Get up and get dressed Because you're so bad So naked. we can have some breakfast Cause now it is time for you and me To go compete and then we'll eat Oh, we can eat I bet I can eat More waffles than you So that's what I'm gonna do Waffles are my favorite food And I'm gonna Listen to 
pancake cheddar. They're like waffles, but they're flatter. And they both use the same better. But to me, that doesn't matter. Waffle carbs give staying power. Unlike last night, I'll last for hours. Eggs and milk, syrup, flour, build the tasty Eiffel Tower. Melt the sugar, melt the butter. That makes my heart flutter. Get your mind out of the gutter. Oh, wait, you started? I gotta catch up. One waffle down. Two waffles down. Three. Oh, God, why'd they have to be Belgian? I bet I can... More waffles than you. Let me get another shot. I can't believe I've only had two. This is tougher than I thought. Uh. Oh, God. And that's it. That's the end of my set. Thank you, everyone. Uh, if you like my songs, please check out insaneian.bandcamp.com where you can get many of these tunes or my Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian where you can see the new songs exclusively every month. Thanks, y'all. Enjoy the rest of MarsCon. All right, that was Insane Ian. Woo! Yes! Yay! Hooray! <laughs> For those of you okay. wondering why we weren't unmuting to uh, applaud and clap after every song, it was just because A, of the way things unfolded uh, with getting everything started today, we only, it just, it just, I don't know, it was... It, whatever. Um, we love you, Luke. Thanks. Hi, studio. If you, well, it's time for the AMA with uh, Adam and Rand. So, uh, um, yeah, basically, uh, <laughs> I guess the way we'll have to work this one is, well, actually, it's 1127. We do have a few minutes here. So, um, so yeah. Uh, once we officially get started, uh, uh, everyone who isn't Adam or Rand or me will, uh, have to turn their, 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 their cameras and, uh, their cameras off at least. Um, <laughs> and then I will be monitoring, uh, I should, on this computer, get on, uh, the YouTube feed so I can be looking for questions. Um, so Yeah. Uh, coming up after the Q&A with Adam and Rand will be a concert by Grandpa Choco, a.k.a. Throwing Toasters. And then after a brief break following him, we will have Tom Smith joining us, and that'll be cool. Whoa! And then uh, uh, we will finish off the comedy music track for the weekend with um, with what we call the comedy music smackdown, where a bunch of people will be coming back to do one more song for everybody. Some of them will be covers. Some of them will be, you know, other weirdness. Um, and yeah, it should be a lot of fun. So where is the friggin'? See, I'm trying. I, I want to do this. I want to get the questions from my laptop and not from, <laughs> and not from the the computer that I'm actually doing the streaming from, so that we can keep the bandwidth good. Oh my gosh. Oh God and baby Jesus, help us. Um, we should probably check, uh, make sure we can hear Adam and Rand. Say things, guys. <laughs> things, guys. Yes. Here, here am I. There am you. Hooray. Okay, awesome. Um, I'm going to get into this place. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> hey, Abby, you should switch it so that the image of me is on the bottom. <laughs> Of the three. Um, okay, I am in here. Let's see. Okay. All right, so. Big bucks, no whammies. Big bucks, no whammies. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, it's eleven thirty. Uh, are you ready, Abby?
Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, as the uh, MarsCon 2021 Comedy Music Track continues, we have an Ask Me Anything interview with Adam and Rand of Ukul the Mock. Give it up for them. Woo! Hey. Here we are. Yes. It is us waiting, awaiting your questions feverishly. Yeah. Mark, Mark, maybe maybe Mark. we'll address the uh, elephant in the room. Uh, and uh, I'll talk for a minute or, minute or so about my stroke. Uh, so I had a stroke uh, like a year ago. And uh, it, although, you know, I survived and, uh, you know, uh, my uh, reasoning and intellect is intact, such as, such as it ever was. There are a bunch of stuff, a bunch of things that I can't do as well as I used to, like speak. Uh, uh, my speech has come a long way. Uh, I am taking speech therapy, and I, you know, practice talking a lot. So, uh, but uh, I, I can't uh, really drive, and I can't see very well. And I can uh, not currently play guitar or piano. Uh, I can still sing somewhat, but uh, my enunciation is not great. So uh, you know, uh, we were we've been so known for doing fast stuff uh, in the past that I I can't currently do. Uh, you know, fast lyrics uh, because I can't speak quickly. Well, Adam, luckily no one cares about our lyrics. So, <laughs> we, we uh, Rand and I noticed early on, it was pointed out by uh, our uh, producer early on that uh, we could go into most filk rooms with just a page of lyrics and just stand up front and read them and everybody <laughs> would be just as happy as uh, us performing. Yeah. <laughs> we should really, yeah, we should have just been putting out spoken word albums all this time. It would have been, but uh, I do see uh, a question that came in that said, uh, uh, Bill Horstcotter asks, what song did break or nearly break the band? It, um, it's not a song, it's an album. <laughs> the, the Monkey album, just about <laughs> broke us <laughs> but uh uh you know that that was uh such a monumental project project we put out our first uh album in uh was it 97 was it yeah, yeah i mean our first like the first the first official go of the mock yeah it was less than art in yeah. 1997 and and the second one was smell no, or was uh, less than, or small no evil or no oh, super uh, secret super secret in ninety eight right so we put it up put out our first two records within a year of each other but then it took like five years to make the monkey monkey album because it kept growing in scope <laughs> and kept uh, eluding any efforts to uh, contain it within a <laughs> you know, yeah, well, that was, the size of a CD. Well, that's why we knew that we, after that album was when we knew we needed a producer, not to shape our music or to help write it all, but we needed a producer to like tell us, like to give us walls. You know what I mean? Again, not not to speak badly of the Monkey album because we we both love it, and and I know many of you do as well. But yeah, I definitely got. Uh, you know, it's nice to have uh, a space to work in. Uh, for sure. But yeah, I would say, is there, are there any songs you could think of that, uh, I mean, it's funny, I think Challenge of the Space Monkeys from the Monkey album definitely took the longest to write from beginning to end, I think. Yeah. You know? Well, and so so the way the Monkey album happened, uh, we had, when our first album came out, uh, we had maybe three Monkey songs. And we were going to put them on our first album, but we decided to save them for our second album and do like a monkey concept album where we would have a couple songs about monkeys and the rest would be about other things. 
And, but by the time the second uh, album came out, we had like 10 songs about monkeys, and we decided to save them again and make a monkey rock opera. opera and it's just about killed us. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it is uh, oh. the, the next question that's up here yeah. uh, is uh, says smell no evil has these strong sort of devil like themes of humans as animals and the conflict between this and modern society w- what would you say the principal message there is and I, I would answer that by saying curb your dogma Uh, one of the songs that's on the monkey album is called curb your dogma and man is that a timely uh you know with the the rohoa or whatever racial holy war that's about to start (laughs) according to uh you know some people uh it, it really seems as though we uh were prescient ahead of our time there uh, in writing Curb Your Dogma. Yeah, it's funny because uh, I was thinking that, you know, uh, I, I mean, and again, you know, it, assuming that the question is what we think the principal message of the album is, yeah, I, I was going to say, you know, like, you know, everything's so complicated was what I was thinking because that's, you know, certainly something that comes up quite a bit and it, and it came up, you know, just in our conversations. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, there, there's a, there's that. <laughs> Luke, what do you got? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, um, uh, I wanted to mention that uh, <laughs> I see Carrie's on here. She says, Ookla is one of my favorite things on the planet with heart, heart, heart. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh. So, um, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, well, we should say, uh, as horrifying as it is, uh, we've been talking about Smell the Weevil and uh, this year is actually the 20 year anniversary oh, of the release of Small New Evil. Oh, old. Yeah. 20 um, years. 20 years. Uh, it was, was when that album came out. So, uh, and we have been, uh, we have been and will continue to be celebrating uh, Small New Evil uh, through our Patreon page. Uh, uh, you know, throughout the year, we're going to be working through the album, uh, kind of, uh, you know, releasing. Uh, you know, alternate versions of all the songs, either the demos or process tracks or live versions of all the tracks and kind of talking about them, you know, kind of going track by track. Um, and uh, I should say it's patreon.com slash ukulevamak. We made it easy. Uh, and we also, of course, like most people do, we've released a lot of songs that are otherwise unavailable over the years through there. So you can always do that. Um, someone asked, what are you doing now? Um, from before, before you before before you answer that, yeah. let me just say for anyone who's just tuning in, if you have questions for this uh, AMA, uh, in your uh, just go to the YouTube chat, enter the question in the YouTube chat, and we'll catch it and answer it. So there we go. What are you doing now? Yes. Well, I don't know if you've heard anything about it, but uh, there's this big pandemic going on, <laughs> and uh, so that's kind of limited what we've been able to be doing. Uh, as far as the band goes, uh, you know, we uh, Rand has got a solo project uh, this uh, coming out or out, Rand? No, right now it's um, the the funding campaign is happening right now. Uh, I mean, if uh, I yeah, I'll just say that now and I'll get back to you. For, uh, it's at it's through Indiegogo. If you're familiar with that, uh, you can just go to Indiegogo and either type my name in or uh, which is Rand Bellavia or the name of the album is uh, the tips of my fingers. Um, you should be able to, uh, to, to find it there. Um, and it should be, I'm hoping to have the album out uh, by late spring, hopefully by, by the end of May is the goal. And my inability to uh, sing or play any instruments has uh, somewhat hampered my ability to uh, do any recording. Yeah, we're hoping. Yeah, we're, we're we're still hopeful that we'll uh, you know get some new Ukla material out there. Um, one of the reasons that I'm launching that I launched my uh, the campaign when I did for for my solo album is because uh, we would uh, hopefully hopefully as soon as the summer uh, we're going to launch a campaign to get some Ukla vinyl out there. Uh, the good people at Needle Juice Records 
are interested in putting out uh, Versus Evil and Nerdvana on vinyl. And so, uh, you know, we're, we're hoping to, to get that up and running. So hopefully we can get those of you that are into vinyl uh, or just like to see our artwork really big. Um, uh, <laughs> hopefully uh, that will uh, that will be available. Uh, you know, like we're hoping to get the, the campaign up in the summer and so we can have it out uh, in the fall. So that's, you know. Uh, that's I definitely want to want to own our a big vinyl record, uh, but I'll have to buy a record player. <laughs> you know, but well, like, well, I'm just excited to see that uh, that gateful cover that Art Baltazar did. Big. Yeah, you know what I mean. That, that's I'm, you know, it always broke my heart a little bit that you know most people experience versus evil through the internet. You know, either either through iTunes or streaming or whatever. And you know, having just the front cover, you know, uh, like uh, you know via the streaming, that a lot of people didn't see the back cover because it is a it's a wraparound cover and it's absolutely beautiful. And. Uh, so uh, I'm excited to get that physically into people's hands. Yeah, art took forever to do that. It was like 20 minutes. Art Baltazar, <laughs> uh, who's an artist friend of ours, works very quickly. Yes. Yeah, he's uh, actually just just let you guys follow him on uh, on Facebook. Just last night, he did a live painting of, of the Hulk beating up Superman. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> he does live paintings. He like take a sketch. And then it's like he'll just do it and like you know he'll do the whole painting in like ten minutes or something. It's amazing. Um, and uh, I wanted to mention real quick. Uh, yeah. I've just put this in the uh, the YouTube chat. The link to Rand's Indiegogo is uh, igg dot me dot excuse me igg dot me slash at slash tips t i p s. Um, and the link to that is at thefump dot com where you have a sampler of some of your songs from that. Yes, thank you. Yeah, of course. I forgot all about that. Yeah, that there is there are yeah. questions from uh, Randy Huffman and Dave Lennon. Dave Lennon, who Dave is Lennon. a real person, I assure you. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I haven't seen or heard from Dave in so many years that I began to wonder myself. Uh, maybe we made well, public the Easter. He's body. one of the monkeys. <laughs> All right, yeah. So Dave Lennon asks, "What's the strangest or most memorable reaction that you had when performing?" Uh, oh my! Uh, well, I think a lot about the very first time that we ever performed <laughs> at uh, Broadway Joe's in Buffalo, and we got <laughs> done playing. We go, "Woo, yeah, we're rock and roll." We get off the stage, and some guy from across the room gives me the finger like hang on I'm coming over to you and crosses the room to where I can hear him so that I will hear him say you suck <laughs> uh, and I knew what he meant when he said yeah. you sucked but he wanted to go on and on about it you know? <laughs> uh, the thing is yeah, it, it, the important thing to remember is that at that moment it didn't we had no pushback you know, it wasn't like we, we had like an established track record of recordings and performances to say, you know, you're wrong. We were like, yeah, sounds about right. But we continued. We struggled on. Randy Hoffman wants to know, uh, besides what's happening at the Fump, what comedy music and comedians are you guys wa currently listening to and watching, Rand? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny. I just... Uh, uh, you know, I, I I had the pleasure of meeting Robbie Ellis just a couple days ago, and I, I will admit that I was not familiar with his work at all. And so I was, uh, you know, uh, you know, I, I was listening to uh, Pumpkins, his album. He, as as uh, you all probably know, was the the music guest of honor here at MarsCon. Um, but as far as uh, comedians. Uh, you know, I mean, I, you know, Adam and I have always been uh, fans of of good stand-up comedy and uh, i mean trying to think i mean i got i've seen uh, you know in, in the pandemic i've seen three shows you know kind of uh stream shows uh i, I saw maria bamford i've seen mike Birbiglia, and i saw i've seen Patton oswalt twice and what i was really surprised by was how Patton seems to need the audience more than the other two like he definitely he was just telling stories and they weren't so much funny and I, and I don't mean that as, as a, an insult really but they were just it's clear that he needs that audience interaction to know where he is whereas Birbiglia is kind of totally reimagining what comedy is 
you know, and tried to do something yeah. totally unique. Almost and like Maria a Bamford is so weird that days. she could just do what she does at her. I was say Maria Bamford. It's like she's so. It's like she's a solid sister comedian. Like <laughs> what she did was exactly what she's like when I've seen her live. You know, there was like no like like it's clear that she doesn't even you know rec. You know, it's, it, it was just really weird that she did what I thought was the most successful and the most uh, traditional you know stand up special, uh, even though she was just talking into a box. Uh, you know, it was it was really something. I always let uh, Rand answer such, such questions because I very famously uh, don't absorb very much media. Uh, you know, I read books, but uh, I don't. Uh, it, when whenever I listen to music, I wind up stealing it, so I don't <laughs> listen to much music. Music. Oh, yeah, I mean, part of my I, job, yeah. I'm sorry. Go, look. I just thought of a question for Adam. Uh, what did you think of the Aquaman movie? <laughs> you know, I, I loved it. I thought it was super fun. Uh, you know, the DC mo movies recently, uh, you know, I thought Aquaman was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, the Suicide Squad is about the... and Oh, and Shazam I thought was fun. Uh but man, this new Wonder Woman movie that came out a little while ago, a uh, direct video or whatever, I, 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 I was just a total head scratcher for me. Uh, you it know, starts out first, strong. I had <laughs> like the first whole bunch 15 of to 20 minutes about the plot of that movie <laughs> when it was finished. You know, uh, but yeah, I, I thought Aquaman was a ton of fun. Me too. <laughs> uh, who, who's uh, who played the uh, uh, the bad guy? And that was played by the same actor that played Dan Dryberg in Watchmen. What was his name? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's not coming to me know. at the moment. But uh, he was so good in that I kind of was rooting for him. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh. Um, oh, we have, uh, uh, well, someone asked, what books are you reading right now? Um, I, I guess I'll give, Adam, I'll give you some time to think about that. And uh, I will say, I've been reading, the last couple of months, I've been reading a lot of oral history. I don't know why, it's just been, I've been really enjoying, uh, you know, mostly oral history of like pop culture scenes and things. Like I read the oral history of The Office, and I read the oral history of, uh, of the um the the uh oh my gosh what's the word like the ah i can't think of the the, the new romantic scene like the kind of uh post punk uh scene in england that was you know like duran duran came out of and spano ballet and all those those bands um and i've read a couple more that are not coming to mind right now but now like i'm obsessed with writing a, a collection of essays that are like uh like fictional oral histories like I want to write like an oral history of Philk, but totally make it up. So I think it would be funny. You know what I mean? And you know, like do like an oral history of the crust core movement, and you know, and just get you know, like or you know, I don't know. For some reason, that's I've been taking notes on that because I'm a weirdo. Um, well, I've been reading a bunch of political stuff lately. Uh, I I just finished reading uh, President Obama, uh, President Obama's book, A Promised Land. And I, I've been real interested in uh, sort of trans partisan, trans partisanship uh, the last uh, little bit. So I've been trying to alter reading uh, liberal left-wing books like everyone would expect me to read with right-wing uh, propaganda that, uh, <laughs> you know, that... Uh, I'll, people are always surprised that I'm reading. Uh, but I I recently read a, a book called Humankind uh, by a Swedish author whose name escapes me at present. Uh, and his premise is that uh, the notion that uh, it seems that in order to be accepted in scholastic, scholastic or scholarly circles, you have to be negative all the time. And uh, uh, he's basically pointing out 
<laughs> that our pessimism about um, uh, human nature is misplaced. That if you actually look at the uh, data, humans are a remarkable, remarkably compassionate and kind species. <laughs> so that, that's the sort of stuff that I've been reading. <laughs> Uh, uh, Ian asks uh, if we're aware of the other band called Luke on the Mock and how often uh, the two of you confuse with each other. And I will point out that there are two other bands called Luke on the Mock. Bands called Luke on the Mock. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if the Florida uh, hardcore band exists anymore. No, they broke no. up quite a while ago, but they did put out one record that I, I get contacted once in a while from people saying, I bought this thing on on eBay thinking I was getting a, a nuclear mock album I wasn't aware of, and it's just like this really noisy hardcore, um, <laughs> and that's not us. But the thing to answer the other part, uh, there is uh, out of Hawaii, there's a reggae band called Luke of the Mock, and they spell it differently, uh, thankfully. But um, how often are we confused with each other? I have heard from people that have said that they were in Hawaii, and they can't believe Luke was in Hawaii, and they went and saw us, and we weren't, it wasn't us. <laughs> but, um, but most recently I was contacted, uh, this would have been shortly before the pandemic. Um, I was contacted uh, by someone who uh, like was opening a dispensary on the West Coast and they wanted to know how much it would cost for us to play the opening. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure you're talking about the reggae band from Hawaii, you know, <laughs> not to stereotype, but I'm pretty confident you don't want, you know, songs about Aquaman at your dispensary you opening. Shouldn't have said anything, which should have just gone and done the game. Showed up, yeah. <laughs> Play boring. songs about Dr. Octopus. Oh, that's true. It was. <laughs> yeah. My, my, Aaron just pointed out, my wife just pointed out that it, the, the, the dispensary opening was on April 20th, too. So <laughs> like, it was pretty, you know. No, they were not fooling around. Um, but uh, so, yeah, we are aware. Um, and, and we do, uh, you know, there definitely is, uh, I don't know if there's been actual confusion, but but it, it does come up, yes. Um Let's so when see. is Kukulo's post-punk album coming out? And the answer is, it came out in 1993. It was called <laughs> the Random Adam Tape. <laughs> uh, all right. Are we missing any? Uh, I should the, going back to Dave Lennon's question about uh, strangers for most memorable reactions. Now, now that you have had when performing, yeah, I'm trying to. Uh, what, what, remember that time, Adam, when we were this one? It was in the 90s when we were playing at a con, and. Oh, that's what it was when we were doing Murder She Wrote, and we when you sang the line about TV guides, like the audience like threw a bunch of TV guides out of the audience. Like, yeah. like I think Bob Kudowski <laughs> had like yeah had conspired to give it, everyone in the audience a copy of the TV guide, and they like threw it on the stage at us. And I was really impressed that they thought that we were like they had no idea like how you know by how little we were hanging on to the song like you know that kind of distraction was more than enough to totally knock us off the song <laughs> okay, our car set's done you know what i mean like we can't you know uh like if a bird flies by i forget how to play guitar you know but um yeah that's something that i remember as, as kind of a you know an audience interaction that i was not prepared for wow. tis chillin to salt and soul and tie uh wants to know <laughs> What were initial reactions to the band name being dropped in other people's songs? I would need to ask a follow-up question. When has that ever happened? <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, Luke, Luke <laughs> mentioned that in the song. Yeah, well, then the ultimate uh, ultimate showdown. Where we, do we make an appearance in the? Uh, well, uh, I I believe um yeah Jason McClain Nuclear Bubble wrapped did a parody of that called the Ultimate Showdown of Musical Comedy where he yeah that yeah that, oh, I think yeah, we, make, yeah. we make an appearance want, in that I, I um, want to say maybe insane Ian mentioned you in one of his songs um <laughs> I could be wrong about that but anyway well, uh, yeah obviously it's, it's always flattering I mean it's definitely you know like most artists. Uh, I think, you know, well, I'll speak for myself, but I, I, I think, I, you know, Adam would agree that, you know, we, you kind of ping pong between, you know, thinking, you know, why aren't I the most popular thing in the world? And I can't believe that anyone that doesn't have my last name has ever listened to anything I've written, you know? And, and so, uh, so yeah, it's always super, super flattering whenever anyone demonstrates uh, not only that they've heard us, but that it's had a, a positive influence on them. You know, I mean, that's obviously, uh, you know, 
Well, we had a beer named after us one time. We assumed yeah. that they were named after the uh, comic character, comic uh, cartoon character that we named the band after. But we found out that no, the beer is actually named after the band. Yeah, uh, it's, and it's true. And that made us realize that, like, because we, we, you know, I mean, before we really, like, we were always kind of a part of fandom, but before we really kind of, you know, you know, like, became almost exclusive, you know, exclusively playing at cons. We did a lot of playing in the mid to late 90s in, on, in the Buffalo bar scene and club scene. And we really didn't think that we had much of an impact, but... I, clearly it was more than we thought because of things like that. Like when a bar in Buffalo has a, you know, and, uh, you know, so yeah, it's, it was very, you know, again, very flattering. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Also, cool. you guys have uh, two back to back number one songs of the year on the Dr. Demento show. <laughs> yes. That, yeah. That was, yeah, that was kind of our, 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 our late years revival. Yeah. We, uh, we, we did not expect that. That was great. Yeah. We had uh that was um, uh, Tantric Yoda, and what was the other one? Wahaha. Oh, it was the following year. Yeah. One of the questions that was missed a little earlier as we uh, come near the close of this, uh, Bill Horse Cotter asked, who would you like to collaborate with musically? John Lennon, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just, <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, well, first of all, if you guys don't know, um, uh, we have a song called Welcome to the Con. That was the opening track of a digital EP we put out, uh, and on that we were uh, we were you know we were very excited to collaborate with Luke and Devo and Worm Quartet, uh, you know, and they certainly made that song uh, a lot bigger and better than it could have been. One of the things we've ever done. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I, in, I, I, what I'm not clear about, and so, and I'll go to say it aloud. So, Adam, you can respond any way you want. But whether you're talking about like dream collaborations or who would you want to collaborate with that you, you know, are aware of and in, in contact with, I mean, uh, I know we've talked with Tom Smith about doing an album, like you know, you know, an album of like kind of us you know, reimagining five of his songs and then him reimagining five of our songs and then maybe having a couple of songs that we co-do together, you know, we could take some of his rock songs and give him a rock arrangement and he could, you know, see what he would do with some of our songs. Um, and I know we had some excitement about that, but, you know, I'm saying it out loud now just to remind Tom if he's listening and, uh, you know, that Did might be... a funny name for that uh, brand? The Uclos... I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I I probably did, but that's your you know you're supposed to write that stuff down. Oh, oh no, <laughs> oh no, you are. <laughs> uh, okay, we're getting the two minute warning here. Um, Luke, anything you want to close off with? Um, well, Ian was saying I missed some questions in the chat, and I'm I'm looking through, and I'm not seeing the questions that were missed. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Well, um, I guess I should uh, close with the usual like plug stuff we have right there in the screen, ooglethemock.com. You're the only band <laughs> performing in the comedy music track this weekend that doesn't have a band camp page. <laughs> yes, it's funny. I was just saying, I, I, I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to create a, a band camp page for Ookla, Um and we will hopefully have some, some material on there soon. But yeah, I, I, that's foolish. We, you know, we, we, will, we, will, we, will, we will remedy that. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get going. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna not ask what's Bandcamp because <laughs> I feared that it would uh, identify me as uh, being tech technically uh, not savvy. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk. Ken, I'll, Ken Sherlock I'll, I'll has a question. Uh, it says, "How was your MarsCon experience when you were the guest of honor?" Oh, it was, it was fantastic. Oh, it was, uh, absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, it was it was so bad that even though all of my luggage was lost the entire time, and I didn't have any clothing or anything I brought with me, I still had a good time. Well, you know, like, like you know, one of the best cons we ever went to. 
Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. And uh, yeah, okay, time for us to wrap things up because it's time for the next concert. But one more time, thank you so much, Adam and Rand, for being here and being a part of Virtual MarsCon 2021. Uh, whatever you guys can make happen in the, in the future, whether it's with Tom Smith or not, we're all looking forward to it. So we love you guys. Thanks for having right. Thanks. 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 Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, yeah. If you guys want to hang out and like just be in the virtual Zoom audience, you're welcome to. Just like uh, uh, turn turn your cameras off, or if you just if you need to go, you can go. Just watch on YouTube or whatever. So um, okay. I need to see where's Grant. There's Grant. I'm hey, take it over to YouTube. I'll see you guys later. Okay. See you later. Bye bye. Grant has, is is here, and we're about to start his show. Uh, so Grant, go ahead and uh, turn your camera on and unmute yourself. Oh, okay. All right.
Hi, we're back on the live feed, ladies and gentlemen, and now all the way from the fabulous Los Angeles area, here is Grandpa Jungle, aka Throwing Toasters! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Yay! Mom bought me a book today, it's called Quest of the Jedi. It's signed at number 12 of 5,000, boy am I a lucky guy. Finish my letter to Jillian Anderson today. It's number 113. I kept it short at four pages long, just pointing out some continuity errors I've seen. Living at home ain't bad. Living at home ain't bad. Living at home ain't bad, cause mother needs me. Going over to John's tonight because episode 503 is gonna be on. I have it on tape about five or six times, but watching it live is always so much more fun. Living at home ain't bad. Living at home ain't bad. Living at home ain't bad, cause mother needs me. Yeah, living at home ain't bad. In fact, it makes me kind of glad. I have the basement to myself. That's where I have all my shelves for my figures, my movies, my CD-ROMs, and that small box of porno that I hide from my mom, and my models, my blueprints, every starship in the sky, and the first dish not a grass script I got from some guy, and I don't pay for food, and I live here rent free, but most importantly, mother needs me, yeah, mother needs me, coming mother, living at home ain't bad. Living at home ain't bad. Living at home ain't bad, cause mother needs me. Yeah, living at home ain't bad. In fact, it makes me kinda glad. I live in my own little world, and I don't have to talk to any icky girls. Thank you. Thank you, Mars Khan. Thank you. It is great to be back here. Hey! Thank you. Hey. Uh, there was a tech issue right before we started, and I don't need this microphone, but I'm going to keep this microphone and hold on to it for dear life throughout this entire set. Uh, I do want to see, let me just see if um, the other guys are able to connect. I don't, for some reason, uh, okay, I don't know. They, they promise they're going to connect and they're going to be here. So um, hopefully we will get that all uh, hooked up and uh, ready to go. Um, I want to thank Luke for asking me to do this. This is so great. I had so much uh, fun the, the time I went to MarsCon. And, um, you know, I have always wanted to come back. And so I'm glad, you know, uh, Luke created a global pandemic in order to make that happen. That was really nice of him. I appreciate that. Um, it also forced me to quickly try to relearn all my songs and um i've forgotten a lot of things so um anyway this is a song uh, i i was a substitute teacher for several years so this song was born out of being a substitute teacher and always wanting to try and be a good role model for kids so always remember to say please and thank you when you're taking candy from a stranger. Always remember to do what your parents say. You can do whatever you want when they're not around. It only takes 13 digits to call India. Stick a fork in the microwave and set it to 30 minutes. If you draw on the living room wall with a blue crayon, it will give you the power to fly. There's lots of tasty things to drink under the sink. Why not go and give them a try? Old people are really easy to push over. Have you ever watched TV in the bathtub? It's fun. 
spend some time visiting with your grandma and tell her the family's betting on when she's gonna die spend some time playing with your little brother and convince him he's got the power to stop a moving vehicle sneak up and scare daddy while he's shaving tape record mommy when she's yelling at you and play it back when she's got friends over please don't do anything that i've said in this song unless you really want to be cool Stay in school, kids. Stay in school and live at home as long as you possibly can. Those are my two pieces of advice for you. Um, eventually, your parents will move out and you'll have a house. That's how that works. Uh, that's how it worked for me. My parents live in the garage now. Um, <laughs> they don't really live in the garage. That song, that song, of course, is all made up except for the part about tape recording your mom when she's yelling at you and then playing it back when she has friends over. I actually did that. <clears throat> and I got in trouble. Um, I'm going to do a new song here that I don't think a lot of uh, people have heard. And actually, I have the backing. I have the backing tracks for this thanks to the amazing Steve Goody. He uh, produced this whole song, and then um, I went to record it, and I had a hard drive failure. And right before the pandemic, I was like, oh, you know what? I should I should finish up that song and get it out there. And um, then uh, the, you know, the pandemic happened. And so because uh, I do have a friend who would sing along on this song. But uh, this is inspired by uh, the place I used to live. Uh, you would uh, had well, we had a neighbor who would feed the squirrels. It was like a condo complex. And this neighbor would feed the squirrels and. <laughs> You, we, they, she would put squirrel feed right in front of our doorway. So you would open up the door and there was just like 60 squirrels would go scattering because they're all eating. So that inspired this song. And it's actually, it's a sing-along, um, which, you know, with it, I, anyway, you can sing along at home. You can sing along the chorus and the chorus goes like this. Uh, Everyone's invited to the squirrel party. 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 It's going to be nuts. That's it. That's the chorus. So if you want to sing that when that comes around, please knock yourself out and, uh, and it'll sound awesome. Well, the squirrels were having a party down by the big oak tree and everyone's invited including you and me and you don't need to be a squirrel or have a twitchy tail over your butts but if you want to go to the squirrel party you got to bring some nuts because nuts are what the squirrels eat yeah it's their favorite food if you don't bring nuts to the squirrel party, well, that's rather rude. Here we go. Everyone's invited to the squirrel party. Everyone's invited to the squirrel. Bring nuts. Everyone's invited to the squirrel. A whole sack of it. Everyone's invited to the squirrel party. Unsalted, please, squirrel party. It's going to be nuts. Well, Bruce the squirrel's bringing walnuts. Mary's bringing cashews. I'm going to bring the pecans. The almonds are up to you. So come on down to the park today. There's going to be quite a crowd. You can bring along a friend or two, but there's no dogs allowed because everyone's invited to the squirrel party. Everyone's invited to the squirrel. No dogs. Everyone's invited to the squirrel party. Leave them on a leash. You can't bring them. Squirrel party. Everyone's invited to. Don't leave them in the car, though, with the windows rolled up because that's bad. It's going to be nuts. No dogs. There you go. Thank you very much. That's squirrel party, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for singing. <laughs> Uh, Woo! Thank you. I was, that is true. I was a substitute teacher for, for so long. And um, the, uh, I was teaching a group of fourth graders how to write a paragraph. And I said, write a paragraph about a vacation you've taken with your family and then bring it up to me and I'll proofread it by reading it out loud. So they all get to work. And about 20 minutes later, this kid brings up his paper and I go to read it out loud. And it goes, uh, my trip to Las Vegas. I took a trip to Las Vegas with my family. It took us four hours to get there in the car. It was a very long and boring trip. 
All I did was sit in the back seat, listen to music, and play with myself. And I said, uh, uh, Michael, don't you mean you were playing by yourself? And he goes, what do you mean? And I go, well, I just mean you were in the backseat all alone. There was nobody else with you. You were playing by yourself. And he goes, no, I meant I was touching my penis. And I was like, oh, okay. All right. Well, good job. Sit down. Have a seat. Uh, you know, they're not my kids. That's my rule. Uh, when I was a substitute teacher, my, my idea was if I showed up at eight and no one had died by three, I've pretty much done my job. That's how I look at it. Grant, we're not getting sound on the video. That is strange that you're not getting sound on the video. Here we go. Hold on one second. On Zoom, you might have to do a thing called share sound. Uh, uh, all right, let's just forget it. We're just going to go. You can hear me, though, now, right? Yes. Okay, forget, sorry, it's not, it's not that great of a video anyway. <laughs> it's all right, uh, and we're just wasting time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you can hear me. Um, let's do a, uh, I wasn't sharing the screen, that's the thing. And we did a sound check on this, it worked, and then right before I had problem with my instrument, and so that's where, not ladies, relax. Uh, I had problem with my guitar, and then that's where uh, things happened. Anyway, so this we're hearing song, you fine now, so everything's good. We're what? What'd you say, Luke? I, I, I just said that we're hearing you now, so yeah, okay. you're good. Great, great. Uh, so uh, you can watch those videos later. They're really not that funny. It was just, it's just give me a chance to change uh, into my uh, mandolin because uh, it, it's a big process to get into this tiny thing. Uh, this song is a true story. This has really happened. And when I sing this song, people go, that didn't happen, but it really, it really did happen. My cat started talking about a week ago, but the only things he says is I am and I know. And although his powers of speech came as quite a shock to me, what's most surprising is he says both things very sarcastically. I said, you're a talking cat. He said, I know. I said, cats aren't supposed to talk. He said, I am. Well, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do about that, but it seems I have myself a sarcastic talking cat. So I called the newspaper and I told them the story and they sent their lead reporter right around. And she was very impressed with my cat's ability to talk, even though he never says anything profound. She said, you're pretty unique, he said, I know. She said, you're front page news, he said, I am. Well, the paper sold a million copies in about five hours flat, all because I got myself a sarcastic talking cat. Well, my cat's sarcastic tone got a little trouble, unfortunately, yesterday afternoon out on the he was doing just fine until the moment when an enormous talking dog he did meet. The dog said, I'm bigger than you. The cat said, I know. The dog said, you better be afraid of me. The cat said, I am. Well, he's home from the vet now, and I'm happy about that. I just hope he's learned his lesson about being a sarcastic cat. There you go. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Yes. <laughs> All okay. applause has a delay. <laughs> yes. No, I get that. That's usually how I'm used to performing anyway, is that all applause has a delay. Um, usually it's <laughs> days, so this is nice. This is a treat. Uh, 
All right, what are we doing next? Okay, I got it. Uh, here we go. Uh, I don't want that though. I go down to the grocery store and I walk right in and throw the food on the floor and the store manager comes up to me and he says I'm sorry son you're gonna have to leave and I said screw you Mr. Store Manager screw you screw you Mr. Store Manager you can't tell me what I can and can't do. I go down to the bank downtown and I walk right in and pull my pants right down and the a bank manager comes up to me and he says, I'm sorry, son, you're going to have to leave. And I said, screw you, Mr. Bank Manager. Screw you. Screw you, Mr. Bank Manager. You can't tell me what I can and can't do. Late at, late at nine, I get out of bed and I go stand right next to my roommate's head and he opens his eyes and he looks up at me and he says, get away from me, you sicko freak. And I said, screw you, Mr. My Roommate. Screw you. Screw you, Mr. You can't tell me what I can and can't do Hear me? Right there. Okay. All right. Okay. I was. I shouldn't. I should just shut up and play these songs. Okay. Uh, all right. What's next? Uh, how much time? I, let's see. Two twenty-five. Okay. So I'll do. I'll do. Oh, here we go. I had this whole video planned. I was going to play this video of um, Toyley is going to come out and he's going to talk and he was going to say can you really play Debbie in the year 2021? Cause it's glorifying stocking. And I saw like, you know, some comments sort of <laughs> about that thing Because I've gone back through my songs and I was like, Oh boy, no, I can't. There's some songs I've taken off. I can't take off uh, Apple and iTunes and stuff, but uh, there's some songs I was like, yeah, this is not good anymore. And it wasn't good then. And I should not, not be playing it. But uh, this one seems to be okay. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch themselves a pail of water. They fell down and we sued everyone, including the hill owner's daughter. If you are a nursery rhyme and you're in trouble all the time, want to put your wife in a pumpkin ride, I can't get you peace of mind because my service is one of a kind. I'm 
the nursery rhyme lawyer. Little Miss Muffet sat in a tough fit. Then that spider came out to play. We served that arachnid with a restraining order. Now he must be at least 200 yards away. Blackbirds baked in your pie. Boy kissed you and made you cry. Your cow jumping in the sky. Crazy thinking that he can fly. Give my services a try and see. What a good boy am I. That crooked old man ran off with some floozy gardener and left me living at home in a shoe with 20 kids. Well, I didn't have any idea what to do, so I called the nursery rhyme lawyer. And in just one week, he found that miserable scumbag of a man and had him paying child support. I live in a boot now and have a summer sandal on the lake. Thanks, nursery rhyme lawyer. If your cupboard is bare, I'm gonna be there. Douche ran away with his spoon. I'll get it. Nursery rhyme lawyer. Uh, yeah, I jump over candles for a living, and I'm usually, you know, pretty nimble and quick. But uh, one day I slipped a little puddle of wax, and I burnt myself pretty badly. So I called the nursery rhyme lawyer, and he was able to get me workman's comp in no time flat. Thanks, nursery rhyme lawyer. Uh, yeah, my little lamb followed me to school one day, and when we got there, all the other kids just laughed and laughed at him all day long. So we filed defamation of character suits against them, and I haven't heard so much as a peep since. Thanks, nursery rhyme lawyer. I got pushed off a wall, and the nursery rhyme lawyer got me $1.2 million. There you go. Woo! Thank you. Yeah! Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> right. Moisture, 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 moisture. Oh, there it is. All right. Well, this has been an absolute blast. Thank you guys for having me uh, having me back. I really appreciate it. Uh, Luke, thank you for putting all this together. The amount of work he does is just incredible. So thank you, Luke. I would like to spend a special thank you out to Abby for uh, helping run all the tech stuff. I'm sorry, Abby. I was so confident going into this uh, that I thought all of this would work. Uh, <laughs> and it didn't. Um, uh, so I'm just going to do one more song, and I'll leave you alone. Uh, I do have a band camp page, which is, is uh, below me, Mr. Grant slash comedy. That's a good place to go to uh, for because uh, it has links to everything. I got to rebuild the Throwing Toasters web page because um, right now, if you go, it's there's nothing. Anyway, thank you all. Uh, I will do one more song and I would like to apologize to my neighbors. The clock reads 327 and I'm shaking in the Are you alone? Debbie, what you got on? Debbie, don't you know that you belong to me? You're all mine, Debbie, for all time. Debbie, and it's only a matter of time until you see. A man came by today. He had some papers from a judge. Don't you know that there's no court in the world? This is such not a good song to play in the year 2021. Are you alone, Deb? <laughs> now I screwed myself up. Uh, don't you know I never let you come to any harm? I'm obsessed, Debbie. All right, I'm a mess, Debbie. But you got to admit, that's part of my charm. Oh, Debbie.
I know the words, but I'm just thinking like, I, I really like you, but if you say no, then it's okay. And I will just go away sadly. And I'll be sad for a little while. And it'll be okay that I'm sad for a little while, but there's somebody out there for me. And I won't obsess over you. I will just keep, keep living my life and know that someday it's all gonna happen for me. But I'll be sad for a little bit and I'll sing this next part sadly. Debbie. I can work on myself. Debbie? <laughs> yes, no, I'm not making light of the situation. I'm agreeing. I love you, but it's okay if you say no. I will recuse myself from the situation. There you go. That's the new 2021 ending. Woo! Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me, uh, gross. Woo! <laughs> Uh, let me, so thank you so much, everybody. It's been so great uh, being here. Thank you to Luke. Thank you to Abby. And uh, I will talk to everybody later. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>
<laughs> that reminds me of a line from The Simpsons when they had Mickey Rooney on, and uh, he was like, "I, <laughs> I was the most, I was a number one box office pull from 1939 to 1940." And Lisa goes, "That spans two decades." <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you're all having fun. Oh, hey, it's time for you. I see a Tom Smith stone. Yay! <laughs> oh my God! How are you guys doing? Great, yeah, doing well. Hi, Tom. Hey, Aaron. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, it sounds like you guys have been having a blast. We really have. It's an awesome. I was going to say, Grant, Grant you're awesome. <laughs> Grant was freaking Thank you, awesome. Tom. I love you. Adam and, uh, Adam and, and Rand Q&A was awesome. <laughs> uh, whatever video, uh, I'll say, uh, I got from Abby saying, uh, let's do a sound check. Will you be sharing any audio or video? Um, whatever you guys capture. Grant, you're awesome. So, I guess I can record it here. So you're just playing your guitar open air and stuff? I'll uh, return to meeting. Oh, I got I got a record option. That'll work. <laughs> yep. Please get please ask the host to give you permission to record. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, don't ask me. Ask Luke. <laughs> yeah. 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 Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm recording on my side here, and, and I have somebody else out there in the world recording. Actually, it's Byron from Dementia Radio. Hi, Byron from Dementia Radio uh, is recording the feed as a backup for me. So, Dementia Radio. Hey. Is anybody else hearing a lot of rumbling, or is that all you guys in the background? Somebody's got YouTube on in the background, and there's a I'm recording on my side here. Out there in the world, recording. Actually, it's Byron from Dementia Radio. Hi, Byron from Dementia Radio. Uh, is recording the feed. There it goes. Yep. Okay, here we go. I just shut off the uh, the the YouTube audio, so that was good. And now I can hear just you. Okay, how's how's that sound overall? It sounds good. Okay, great. Uh, 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 uh sufficient volume level. Yeah, are um are you playing guitar for this? Uh, I will be playing guitar, and I've got my little amp over here, and I'm actually using the good mic this time around. So we'll see how uh how that works out on the audio. So all right, well why don't you play a little bit just so we can hear how it sounds? Okay. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. And uh, uh, Ooh, tell us about this. <laughs> it's really funny because the video is delayed over here. Uh, I didn't realize <laughs> that it would be delayed as much as it is. So, uh, Yay! Yay! Here comes the frame dropper. Word him up. Now we got. And my video doesn't even. Now we got out. a little bit of guitar. I think I'm going to have to turn it up. <laughs> While I'm sitting here playing for Luke Ski, <laughs> I got a little bitty cup of spring water. That's the only sustenance I've had for two days. I'm dying in my seat here in so many ways. Maybe my voice literally got what? <laughs> That'll be interesting. Yeah, turn but, up the uh, guitar. Uh, uh, the feedback bit. sounds lower, I tell you. It, 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 my voice sounds, you know, sounds like it's slow, so his voice is a little low and slower than usual. That's that's truly interesting. Uh, where's the option for original audio on Zoom? Uh, it should be to the... Turn on original the... sound. Hang on a second. Uh... I I I I I also Happy our stage manager. <laughs> now 
how does it sound? Does it sound like me? Is it a little more accurately? <laughs> yes, sounds much more like you. Yay, all right. I thought that was a problem. I was going to say the sample radio show. I bet you're right, uh, uh, Chris. How you doing, Chris? <laughs> I'm doing well, sir. Thank you. Thank you for XXing with your X. X there. Excellent. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All I had to do is hit, you know, hit the turn. I, I don't know why they, they try to do anything with the sound on Zoom meetings. I just do not understand it. <laughs> you know, we have a, it, it's one of many software companies, you know, many instances of we have a wonderful plan for your life. So, <laughs> I've heard that line before. Let's see. It's, uh, <laughs> it's two minutes till. Let me uh, let me grab some lyrics over here while I got the chance. How the hell is everybody doing? Okay. Oh yeah. Yes. I have no idea who I have no idea who's on the line. So well, right now we have Chris Mazalesta, uh, Cornflake with uh, Nick and Cal. We have Stephanie Wild, uh, Michael Spence, and possibly also Ron de Bellavia. Awesome! 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 Okay. He's here. <laughs> That's our studio audience for the moment. So. Is there anything that anybody particularly wants me to sing? I got. I, I presume I got up forty minutes. Oh my gosh. Um, well, we could all do oh, the oh, chorus. Um, we could all do the chorus on three hundred seven ale. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, How about uh, uh, when this song is over, you will die. <laughs> I can pop that one up. <laughs> I haven't done that in a long time. <laughs> um, sure, yeah. Let me do that. Okay. How do we... I wish I could make an animated music video for that song. Just. <laughs> I'd love it if you did, man. <laughs> I just love the idea of like somebody like stalking some guy in a recording studio <laughs> and trying desperately to escape <laughs> before the song ends. <laughs> ah. There we go. <laughs> God, I haven't sung that in years. Zombie blues. <laughs> Whoop. Oh, 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 okay. Zombie blues is easy. I gotta find the lyrics here for uh, uh, for for uh, when the song is over, you will die. Uh Tom Smith's disease is right out. And what was the last one? Uh, Operation Desert Storm. Operation Desert Storm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> when this song is over, you will die. I might not be able to get to Luke because I have to go digging for the lyrics. Please forgive it's, me. it's okay. It's cool. <laughs> no, it's not cool. I should have the damn lyrics on my webpage. <laughs> but it is now time. How dare you not know off. all the words to all 10,000 songs you've written, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure my volume is sufficient for both me and the guitar. I'd say if you can make the guitar a little bit louder, that would be good. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I think I think we're all set here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you that your intro. Good. Okay. okay. Ah, this is a recent one. First off, hello MarsCon! Yay! <laughs> well, first off, let me go, ladies and gentlemen. It's hey. your next act, a uh, former music guest of honor, MarsCon, Mr. Tom Smith. Woo! Hey. 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 <laughs> One morn, I woke from fever dreams and grabbed my tablet for news and memes. A TikTok feed was filled with screams of shanties, high and low. Ha! Huh. Soon may the internet come to grips with a trend that's fun and dumb. We will hum and drum and strum, then post our vids and go. The sound of pirates filled my brain from Port Royal to the Bay of Biscayne. Up and down the Spanish main, those sailors stole the show. Soon may the internet come to grips with a trend that's fun and dumb. We will hum and drum and strum, then post our vids and go. I tried to escape to Instagram, but some Renfair boys were starting to jam. I found a pirate. 
pirate poetry slam at Stan Rogers' video. Soon may the internet come to grips with a trend that's fun and dumb. We will hum and drum and strum, then post our vids and go. Facebook lads was too far gone from a drunken sailor marathon. The old folks all went carrying on with Disney's yo-ho-ho. -ho. Huh! Soon may the internet come to grips with a trend that's fun and dumb. We will hum and drum and strum, then post our vids and go. And so it goes on to this day, I fear I never shall get away, so I might as well wet my pipes and play, and down the man I'll blow. Soon may the internet come to grips with a trend that's fun and dumb. We will hum and drum and strum, then post our vids and go. Ha! Soon may the internet come to grips with a trend that's fun and dumb. We will hum and drum and strum, then post our vids and go. All right! <laughs> He <laughs> said, "That silly thing." <laughs> oh, silly! Oh, again, thank you, thank you, Luke, for asking me to be here. Thank everybody for uh, for showing up, and uh, yeah. So, uh, somebody wanted. Uh, <laughs> okay, we'll do we'll do zombie blues first. That's the easiest. <laughs> yeah, should take off the glasses for this. I should have announced it. Zombie Blues! This one I wish I could play on the guitar yet. I can't quite, but I shall. I shall. Who here watched WandaVision? <laughs> Us. Everyone. I was going to say, who here is afraid to be yes. spoiled? <laughs> I have watched all of the WandaVision. Yes. Okay. You'll all get to sing along on the third, uh, the third verse. <laughs> What song is everybody covering? It's Agatha all along. What song do all the MCU fans sing? It's Agatha all along. It's ubiquitous. I'm so sick of this. Catchy and so quick. This little ditty is ditty is ditty 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 ditty. <laughs> Epic trailer to mandolin, acapella hip hop folk song, even opera, freaking opera, versions of Agatha all along. She was born far long ago and far away, and her magic is very strong. Wanda's kind of her protege, but Wanda might not go along. She's a classic, which she is, steeped in 60s kit she is. And there's no way you've missed what a bitch she is. Bitchy is bitchy, 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 bitchy. Can the vision ever set things right? Or can Monica come on strong against Agatha? Creepy Agatha. Guess we might as well sing her song. Who's been messing up everything? It's been, it's been Agatha, Agatha all along. Who's been pulling every evil string? It's been, it's been Agatha, Agatha all along. along. 
She's insidious, haha, <laughs> so perfidious that you haven't even noticed. And the pity is the pity is pity, 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 pity. It's too late to fix anything now that everything has gone wrong. Thanks to Agatha, ha, naughty Agatha. 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 It's been Agatha all along. And I killed Sparky too. <laughs> I was, I was pretty proud I got that out before the last episode uh, popped. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, what else do I have here? Uh, I got a few more things. Oh, you, you want to know? Here's one that I never did record. I'm probably going to record when I get... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of getting the next album ready, and this is one of the ones that didn't get recorded in a timely manner, and that's fine. Uh, I will, uh, I will uh, get it there, but... <sighs> Anybody else sleeping better the last two months? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I was tired of the crazy. We hear from President Trump. Like a worn-out recording of monkeys taking a dump. Then he talked to Zelensky on a telephone call. And though the transcript ain't perfect, I got the gist of it all. We got subpoena coladas from getting caught in Ukraine. We got a crazy old fogey who only has half a brain. And he likes tweeting stuff at midnight And making jokes about rape Here's the dirt that you're looking for Just impeach, he won't escape Well, that's what we thought anyway <laughs> So the stuff I reported Came out in just a few weeks As I hoped and expected All of Washington freaked and the Donald responded with an official note. It showed up in the paper. It was the same thing I wrote. We got subpoena coladas from getting caught in Ukraine. Now we add Giuliani and he's flat out insane. He said to praise him as a hero, leaving newsmen agape. These guys both need straight jackets, so they cannot escape. So we're just getting started. Everyone's getting tense. In it up to their eyeballs are Pompeo and Pence. It only took one blown whistle uh, to start a big avalanche. Now the reckoning's coming for the executive branch. We got subpoena coladas from getting caught in Ukraine. Then Trump calls Schiff a traitor with his very good brain. And he keeps on digging deeper. We've got the videotape. Can you say President Pelosi? I don't think they'll escape. Anyway. <laughs> Rock on. Woo! Oh, nice. Done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Four more verses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah, there's 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 bunches of stuff that I've been... Uh, a few things actually I've recorded uh, you know, that have been way fun. Um, not going to do all of them here, but... Uh, yeah, at least I had to do a couple. I had I, I had to do that, and and uh, the uh, the other new one that I've really been having fun with uh, was uh, uh, from uh, it, it was it was uh, MC Hammer as filtered through uh, Marvel Comics. <laughs> that I need a backing track for, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, okay, uh, so do you want a Desert Storm? 
Um, we'll see what else we got. Uh, any other particular requests? I mean, obviously, we'll do 307 Ale. Fenton, perhaps? Fenton? Fenton? I can do Fenton. Oh, Fenton. <laughs> All righty. Uh, first. As much as I'd wish you could do Stony Peak, that's not going to work. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I just heard something. Yeah, I said, <laughs> asking for as Stony much, Peak. You know, as much as I'd wish you could do Stony Peak, I know that's not going to work. But it is one of my favorites. You'd be surprised. Let me see if I can do that one. Hang on. First off, i got to find lyrics. Yep, up, 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 up. Stony Peak. Come on. Where was it? Riz it, riz it, riz it. <laughs> also, Stony in the Peak. channel, somebody's asking for Rocket Ride, which I kind of assumed you were going to do. I, I was going to close with Rocket Ride, as I usually do. Rocket Ride and... and uh, I was going to say, basically, it's going to be two more songs plus 307A on Rocket Ride. Is that good? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. I'll try to make it three because uh, somebody wants both. Uh, uh, somebody wanted uh, Desert Storm and somebody wanted uh, Fenton. So we'll see what we can do. Um, anyway, but I don't want to interrupt the, uh, the, 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 you know, Mar uh, MarsCon Palooza. So, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Woods that I stood upon, careworn stony peak, below in the vales of Tennessee. Tis no pollution filled smoke upon stony peak, nor strolls from AT&T. One cannot cultivate maize upon stony peak, the stones cause farming to fail. Tis why the only grain upon stony peak is found in a tankard of ale. Stony Peak, I shall e'er regard thee as mine own backyard. Noble ancient Stony Peak, Stony Peak of Midgard, Stony Peak of Midgard. Going up Niffle, I'm going for a stroll. Going up Niffle, I'm kill a big troll. Going up Niffle, I'm going in a skiff. Going up Niffle, I'm to see my sif. In times past, varlets hide on Stony Peak, seeking the nectar of Odin. There did those varlets descend Stony Peak, speaking of them is verboten. In my youth, I loved on Stony Peak, a witch born of Ursa and Felix. As weasel unchecked, as mead honey fleck, and my slumber is yet haunted by this Venus. Stony Peak, I shall e'er regard thee as mine own backyard. Noble ancient Stony Peak, Stony Peak of Midgard, Stony Peak of Midgard, Stony Peak of Midgard. Cramming in songs fast. Okay, first, Desert Storm, or somebody asked for first. Hey, you did Cripple Creek. That's. Uh, What's that? So you did Cripple Creek. You should have no trouble with this. <laughs> Going up to Niflheim. <laughs> I, I I love that bridge. Going up in the I'm going for a stroll. Going up in the I'm killing a big troll. <laughs> the land is burning dry under hot desert skies my gut is churning but you won't see fear in my eyes nothing to lose as I climb in and look to the roads 
Then light the fuse to the cannon which promptly explodes. The blast sends me skyward and into free fall. With one final thought as I head towards the wall. I'll get that road runner if it's the last thing I do. If Murphy's laws are religion, I must be a saint. What else explains semis bursting from tunnels I paint? A thousand Rube Goldberg nightmares lie smashed in my garage. How many falling pianos can that damn bird dodge? From magnetic bird seed to dynamite darts I could buy General Mills with what I spend on parts But I'll get that road runner if it's the last thing I do I should forget it, he's not big enough for a stew My line of credit with Acme is ten years past due. Got no insurance, I can't sign the claims with my paws. In vile durance for breaking most EPA laws. But my super genius will deal with that dunce. Remember that I have to win only once. And I'll get him someday. Perhaps I should try something new. My canyon compactor was perfect to echo my screams. My backpack reactor worked fine until I crossed the beams. My bomb extender snapped back with the lit TNT. My flying blender was just a tad quicker than me. But I'm smarter, I'm stronger, and he's merely fast. Let's hear him beep beep with his head up his ass. And I'll get that road runner if it's the last thing I do. Eureka! That's it! Earthquake pills. Thank you. And the uh, Okay. Um, I can get two songs, not three. I can get uh, 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 of the three. We're talking um, uh, Fenton, Rocket Ride, and Three of Seven Ale. Well, we've we've had requests for three hundred seven L. Why don't we go with that one? Okay, I was going to say we also we we had requests for all three. That's what I'm saying. Well, the request for Fenton was from me, so forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm we are here. I am here to service the fans, sir. <laughs> what, what's that? I am here to service the patrons of the MarsCon comedy music track. <laughs> how many how many people do we have in the room right now? In the studio audience here, we got about ten. <laughs> uh huh. And and online. Uh, Abby will answer that. Why don't you play the song and she'll tell you afterwards. <laughs> Got it. Oh, 81. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Hi to all of you. I miss you all. Lots of hugs uh, on, on account. <laughs> Man, we're going to have a cuddle puddle when we get done and when we can go back to cons. <laughs> There's many drinks. You'll drink my lads on every world that's new. There's Saurian brandy, cran apple schnapps, and a good old Tullamore don't. There's Bush and Beck and Bud and Buck and others dark and pale. But I think you'll find the finest kind is 307 Ale. 307 Ale, me lads, 307 Ale. The finest drink that any bar has ever had for sale. It'll lay your whole damn world to waste. It'll make you fit and hail. There's nothing that you ever taste like 307 Ale, me lads, 307 Ale. 
It started down at MIT one lazy summer day When a couple of the frat boy techies started in to play They'd caught up on their schedule with a couple hours to kill So they fitted up their cyclotron and made themselves a still 307 ale, me lads, 307 ale Find a drink at any bar, I'll ever have to sell It'll lay your whole down with a swoop of waste, it'll leave you thin and hail There's nothing, There's nothing that, that you'll ever taste like 307 ale, me lads, 307 ale they added choice ingredients to brew a little brew But they didn't know the wires were crossed in chamber number two A tiny bit of space got folded, things were looking queer They turned the spout and then came out the world's first hyper beer Come on now! 307 Ale Me Lads 307 Ale The finest drink that any bar has ever had for sale It'll lay your whole damn world to waste, it'll make you fit and hail there's nothing that you'll ever taste like 307 Ale, my lads, 307 Ale. It bubbled and it burbled and it glowed a fizzly green. And what it did to test equipment, frankly, was obscene. It took a while to find a vial, it wouldn't burst to flame. Then they measured out its potency. Smooth. And that's how it was named. There's many drinks you'll drink, my lads, but this one beats them all. 153 and one half percent alcohol. A beer brewed in a tesseract. No, not the Cosmic Cube, a tesseract. It's a different thing. It'll shoot you through the roof. And if you don't believe me, I've got lots and lots of proof. 307 Ale, me lads, 307 Ale. The finest drink that any bar has ever had for sale. It'll lay your whole damn world to waste, it'll make you fit and hail. It sticks to your mouth like library paste with a stronger kick than toxic waste. Nothing that you'll ever taste like 307 Ale. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey! Thank you all so much. Oh, thank you all so much. Again, many thanks to Luke and everybody else at MarsCon for having me here. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's great to see you guys virtually. It's it's great to hear you. <laughs> I miss you all. Uh, I'm not I'm not kidding. I'm 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 gonna try with OVFF if we have actually, actually have a physical OVFF. Uh, and 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 any other cons that I do after we start going up for like the next six months. It's like. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna organize a cuddle puddle. Bring PJs. Bring pillows. Bring blankets. We're all just gonna sit and kind of melt together and hang on to each other for a while because we haven't been able to do it for a year now, and I'm getting a little cranky. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, okay. So, <sighs> in a few minutes, we're gonna have the uh, uh, the the MarsCon Dementia Smackdown concert. So that will be also beyond belief. And we should get to it as quickly as possible, correct? So, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, nothing worth doing that I haven't tried. There ain't no living on planet side, come on with me, baby, on a rocket ride. 3.14! Many cities crumble into dust at the first atomic attack. How many self-aware, wise, and just computers do we have to hack? How many supercars will turn to rust cause we don't have a spare or a jack? Give me technology that we can trust and give it fins like a Cadillac. I want a shining tower of glass and steel, a rubber jumpsuit and a freeze-dried meal. The will to survive, the need to explore, the love of adventure, who could ask for more? I want you, baby, right by my side, help me get out before my brain is fried. The stars are waiting so big and wide, come on with me, baby, on a rocket ride. Come on with me, baby, on a rocket ride. How many demons out in cyberspace will possess every hacker's will? 
How many members of the master race will come closing in for the kill? How many xenomorphs will you change their face because we don't? <laughs> Hold it. I don't usually blow that line. <laughs> oh, how, many members, how many members of the master race come closing in for the kill? How many xenomorphs will change their face? <laughs> Help! <laughs> oh my god. I'm embarrassed. Where's the line, guys? <laughs> Cthulhu for Thoggin! No. <laughs> what a wonderful phrase. <laughs> Welcome to uh, You Can't Do That on Zoom. Um, hang on. I'm surprised I, I apologize so profoundly. <laughs> there we go. How, how many demons on in cyberspace will possess every... We'll try to do this again so you can properly edit that out. Okay, here we go. <laughs> how many demons on in cyberspace will possess every hacker's will? How many members of the master race will come closing in for the kill? How many xenomorphs will change their face and hunt us down for a thrill? Give me a villain with style and grace and a little bit of fencing skill. They used to be angular, sneering, and bald. If someone got killed, even they were appalled. They tried to marry the heroine, no thought of rape. And they sure as hell knew how to wear a cape. They never tortured, they never lied. They'd honor a promise if it meant they died. Let's find a villain with professional pride. Come on with me, baby, on a rocket ride. Come on with me, baby, on a rocket ride. Terminators, life force, robot jocks, predators, lots of things that know how to flans. Defend a strain them out the doors. Gimme, give gimme give Star Wars, bring back the children of the lands. Puppet, Master, Child's Play, Fright Night, Judgment Day, Jason, Freddy, Michael, and Stripe. Oh, that Frankenstein, Ardeth Bay, and Kong chase them all away. The movie Snatchers pods are overripe. I want more than action and special effects to think about what might happen next. A hero, not a weapon shop with pecs. And a heroine, not an excuse for sex. I want a bubble helmet matting down my hair. The ground giving way to the open air. The joy and wonder as I head out there. And I know I can have it if I only dare How many bodybuilding macho jerks will blow everything full of holes? How many imitation captain Kirks will spill beer on the ship's controls? How many stupid personality quirks will we see instead of souls? Give me my baby on a ship that works and give us the starring roles I want to cruise the galaxy of FTL, pursuing heaven, defying hell. I want to do everything that a man can do, and I want to do it all out there with you. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, nothing worth doing that I haven't tried. There ain't no living on planet side, come on with me baby on a rocket ride. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, nothing worth doing that I haven't tried. There ain't no living on planet side, come on with me baby on a rocket ride. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, nothing worth doing that I haven't tried. There ain't no living on planet side, come on with me baby on a rocket ride. Come on with me, baby, on a rocket ride. Come on with me, baby, on a rocket ride. Come on with me, baby, on a rocket ride. Thank you very much, Marge Khan. Yeah! 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 Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. so, 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 so much. Yeah! Oh, man. I we love you, Tom. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> I forgot to put in my little commercial. My 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 web page for getting music is tomsmith.bandcamp.com. My tip jar is paypal.me slash filkertom. My Facebook page is uh, Facebook slash filkertom. No, come on down and say hi. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the whole time this concert has been going on, there's been a framing thing around you that has Tom Smith plus tomsmithonline.com underneath. So, hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I should really update that. That's like a year out of date. <laughs> Although it does have links to the Bandcamp page. So does it have links to lyrics? <laughs> uh, most of them are on the Bandcamp the page. I gotta I gotta that's one of the things I gotta take care of most of all. Uh, uh. 
Okay, so you guys got the Dimension Smackdown coming up in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Um, I figured... <laughs> um, so I need to kind of wrap my brain around... Okay, so the Dimension Smackdown includes performances by Beth Kinderman, Robbie Ellis, Throwing Toasters, um, Kyle, who will be coming through the door, I assume, sometime soon, uh, potentially me, and then I have a video of uh, some special... Uh, guest appearances. Um, oh, also, Grant wanted to show a video. Uh, uh, Grant, do you want to maybe just show that video right now? Is that cool? Grant? <laughs> Actually, oh, wait, we can yes, all turn I can do that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do all that. Right. Cool. Mm. So, uh... <laughs> this is the video that I was going to play during my set, but uh, of a little message from our good friend Toilet Tea Paper. Which hopefully it works this time. Here we go. Well, either spit it out or swallow it because I don't want it on the couch. Oh, hi there! Guess who? It's me, <laughs> international celebrity Toily T. Paper. That's right, America's favorite talking roll of toilet paper. You probably recognize me from TikTok, where I have over 2 million followers. Or maybe Instagram, where I have over 13.9 thousand followers. Or perhaps you recognize me from YouTube, where I stream live every week to over 13.7 thousand subscribers or maybe you know me from twitter where i okay well yeah i'm on twitter anyway i'm sorry <laughs> to interrupt your throwing toasters concert but you know i have to ask throwing toasters really i mean they haven't released any new music since 2015 and even then eesh, it wasn't that good you know, if you're looking for more recent funny music, you should check out my Bandcamp page at thetoily.bandcamp.com. I have a Christmas album, an EP, a few singles, some of them even released in the past few months. Look, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your new stimulus check, but you can get my whole discography for under $13, so the choice is clear. It's certainly more hip and modern than Debbie. I mean, can he even sing Debbie anymore? I mean, is it proper to sing a song that glorifies stocking in the year 2021? I don't think so. TheToily.Bandcamp.com. You're welcome. Oh, and uh, you might like my web series called Wednesdays with Toily. This season, I'm interviewing comedy musicians like Carla Albrecht, Rob Baravonian, Sarah Hester Ross, Bill Larkin, and more. You can find out more at thetoily.com forward slash Wednesdays. Okay, back to the show, such as it is. Whoa! Toily, 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 toily. Toilet paper. <laughs> so, um, excellent. Luke, your your video was on that whole time. It was. Oh crap! I'm sorry. <laughs> we have a Chinese restaurant near us called Tylee. No relation. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. Tylee. <laughs> it was not a joke made for funnies. Well, you know what? I think what might be a a cool thing to do. Why don't I the the people who are going to be the video uh submission people for the uh, for the SmackDown, why don't I play that right now? Because it, it lasts about nine minutes, and that way that'll bring us right up to right up to uh, uh, okay. the third. Is that, <laughs> is that is that cool, Harry? Can, can I hey hi hi hi? Can I please sound check before we go on? Because this is another. Oh sure, setup. yes. Yeah. I was gonna have everyone gather in the living room at three thirty to watch. Okay, well then, never mind. Maybe. We'll do it. We'll we'll play it later. So yes, go ahead and sound check, Robbie. And I was, and I was gonna do a say a thing at one point.
right. It's time for the MarsCon Comedy Music Smackdown to finish off the weekend. Uh, getting us started here is Beth Kinderman. Woo! Woo! Let me turn my video on. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Woo! Okay, so uh, so thanks to everyone who came out to the Space Oddity Music Circle last night. There's going to be a dead dog going on. It's not at the same Zoom link. It's at a different one. So check out the MarsCon Discord starting around 5 p.m. tonight to find the link to that. Um, and until then, um, so I'm going to play a funny song that's from the Filk community that I think hasn't quite crossed over to, uh, to comedy music land yet, um, but it should. Um, those of you who may have seen me throughout the weekend uh, trying to get my children to go to bed and stay in bed will understand why I identify that with this. On a on a deep level, uh, so um so this is a song by a person named Daniel Glasser. It's called "Close Your Eyes." Close your eyes and sleep. There are demons in your dreams. Go to sleep, my darling. There's a demon underneath your bed The demons in your bed Are gonna eat you up Thank you, friends. This was really uh, fun. Those of you with children, you will understand. I think I just did the opposite thing where I had the, <laughs> the microphone on the whole time. <clears throat> uh, bye, go bye bye, then you come back again. All right, there I am. Uh, hey, so uh, next up we have throwing toasters. It's Grandpa Choco. Woo! Yes. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah. The host has stopped my video. I cannot turn my video on. Hey, that's the way it's been for me all afternoon. I I sympathize. <laughs> Yes, okay, there we are. Hi, there everybody. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. I'm going to do a song. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thanks, Luke. Thank you for all your work. Abby, thank you for everything. This has been so much fun. I've loved popping in all weekend. A song by Little Jimmy Dickens. My daddy bought a cat for me as a Christmas present once. 
I picked a little heifer out cause both of us was runts. She never had much sense, but she grew up alright somehow. But when it comes to giving milk, she's an educated cow. Bessie the heifer, the queen of all the cows, gives more milk than any law allows. In the morning she gives pasteurized, at night she gives a mud. me a tater patch to try and raise some dough to take a little vacation with some city folk I know no one else would milk that cow no matter how hard I nag so Pa took my vacation and let me hold in the bag Bessie the heifer the queen of all the cows gives more milk than any law allows in the morning she gets pasteurized at night she gets homogenized Bessie the heifer I took her to a county fair to try and win a prize. She was very nervous, I could see it in her eyes. She did her very best, and she tried so hard to please. That when I went to milk her, all I got was cottage cheese. Boo! Bessie the heifer, the queen of all the cows. Gives more milk than any law allows. In the morning, she gives pasteurized. At night, she gives a mom. Thank you very much. Good night, Marscon. Good night. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Grant. All right. uh, Next up, we have TV's Kyle and Lynn Zilla, who are right here. Woo! We're right here. (laughs) Hey, Lindsay. It's one of our favorite qualities about ourselves is that we're right here. We're so convenient. We're always right where we need ourselves to be. <laughs> I find quite often they're about 80 feet away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very convenient when you when you need a Luke to do this. <laughs> oh, yeah, stop it. <laughs> no. Stop that. Stop that. It's too silly. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for silliness? Uh, yes. All right. Hopefully they are because we're doing this anyway. Yes. <laughs> Maximum silliness. Mm-hmm. You want me to hit it? There we go. <laughs> Hot, Hot dogs. dogs. Armor hot dogs. What kind of kids eat armor hot dogs? Fat kids, skinny kids, kids that climb on rocks. Tough kids, sissy kids, even kids with chicken pox of hot dogs. Armor hot dogs. The dogs kids love to bite. Armor. Hot dog armor. Soldiers march on in hot dog armor. Sausage, riot gear, crown of breakfast links. Brought worse brigadiers, armies wait on line at pinks. It's armor. Hot dog armor. The wiener wars will fight. Armored dot hogs. We're spotted pigs, we're armored dot hogs. Big pigs, bigger pigs, pigs on to their snouts. Fight pigs, frightening pigs, mighty power porcine left their dot hogs. Armored dot hogs. The hogs that guard the night. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice <laughs> <little guy. laughs> No. <laughs> First it was my childhood, then it was wait, what? <laughs> That's what we were going That's for. what we do. <laughs> That's most of pop culture these days. <laughs> hey, look, it's my childhood. Wait, what? <laughs> Michael Michael Bay is directing it? Oh, no. He's not lying. Michael right, Bay for uh, Oscar Mayer. Coming up next, we have, uh, coming all the way from the place where he works with an amazing piano, it's our music guest of honor, Robbie Ellis. Woo! Woo!
Thank you very much, Luke. Uh, yeah, cheers for muting. Uh, this is a song that's on the fump. Uh, it's from the Chicago music comedy scene, but it's definitely not about the Chicago music comedy scene. It's by Ross Childs. There's a man from the swamps of the Tallahassee. Don't care much for convention. He's going to be what he wants to be. Who's this man? Who's this man? Who no one and everyone has seen. Who's this man? Who's this man? I know it can only be. Who runs naked through a dairy farm? Florida man, Florida man. Who never fears any bodily harm? Florida man, Florida man. Who's made love to a dozen trees? Who throws tennis balls head full of bees? Who tries to bite every cop he sees? Florida man, Florida man. Florida man, Florida man. He lives in a van. He's Florida man. Florida man, Florida man. He has sex with a can. It's Florida man, Florida man. Who robs the bank with a rubber duck? Florida man, Florida man. Never gave up, slip or gave up. Toss. Florida man, Florida man. Who can steal a truck without making a sound? Who stayed a tarp into an evening gown? Whose grandma makes the best meth in town? Florida man, Florida man. Florida man, Florida man. He lives in his van. He's Florida man, Florida man. Florida man. He has sex with a can. He's Florida man, Florida man. Crack, bleh, 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 bleh. Who plays baseball with a feral cat? Florida man, Florida man, tried to stab his boss with a sewer rat. Florida man, Florida man, who snorts crack and screams in the street? Whose favorite food is human meat? Who gave Marco Rubio a Senate seat? Florida man, Florida man, Florida man, Florida man, he lives in his van. He's Florida man, Florida man, Florida man, flash in the pan. He's Florida man. Florida man, Florida man, flash in the judge, flash in the jury, flash in the bailiff, flash in his attorney, flash in anyone and everyone that he can. He's Florida man, Florida man, Florida man, Florida man. Grandma said next batch ready on Tuesday. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! That's, that song was, of course, I got credit him at the end by Ross Childs. Ross Childs, everyone. Oh, yeah. Yes, Ross Childs. And we can see right there on your screen, piano benches. <laughs> Another TikTok celeb. Uh, Ross Childs. Look him up. Okay, so we have uh, a couple of people coming into the SmackDown via a video that I have that I will show now. So uh, uh, now I'm going to go and play that. Um, so I guess I'll uh, cue up the beginning of it and, and uh, Abby will have to make adjustments and stuff. Uh, so this will start playing shortly. Adjusting in 10, 9, oh, never mind. <laughs> now I need to remember where the video is. Um, Food Network After Dark. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here we are. So now I need to share screen. Share screen. Eh? Screen. Yeah. Make sure my sound is being shared. It is. Okay. Cool. So now I go back to... Uh, All right. Abby, are you okay for me to start playing this now? Okay. And now, here's the video of things. The video of things. Pokey the Dawn. 
of the dog, Pokey the dog. He's a good dog. Yes, he's a good dog. He wags his little tail. He's a good dog. He's a good dog. Always makes me flail. Oh, he's a good dog. He is a good dog, but he sometimes runs away. Everything that started him running away started today. But I'm not going to discuss this random stuff. I don't really want to discuss it in a song like this. Yeah. Pokey the dog of the dog. Pokey the dog. He's a good dog. Yes, he's a good dog. He wags his little tail. But then he will, um, uh, I guess that's the end of the song. Yay! Like a chicken bark bark. Bark like a chicken bark. But chicken 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 bark. Bark like a chicken like a chicken like a chicken bark bark. Like a chicken like a chicken. Like a chicken. Bark bark bark. Bark like a chicken bark bark. Bark bark like a chicken bark bark. Gobble gobble. I mean, um, that's a turkey sound. Bark like a chicken bark bark. Bark like a chicken bark bark. Bark like bark 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 like a chicken bark bark. Bark 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 bark. Gobble gobble I mean that's a turkey sound. Bark 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 bark. Well, that's a male chicken. It can't be a female chicken. Buck like a chicken, buck, buck. Buck like a chicken, buck, buck. Buck, 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 buck. Buck like a chicken, buck, buck. Chicken! Buck like a chicken, buck, buck. Chicken! Buck like a chicken, buck, buck. Buck! Buck like a chicken, buck. Chicken, 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 buck. Buck like a chicken, buck, buck. Chicken! Like a chicken, like a chicken, buck, buck. 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 Buck like a chicken, buck, buck. Yeah, buck like a chicken, buck, buck. Uh huh. Buck like a chicken, buck, buck. Gobble, gobble. I mean, that's a turkey sound again. Buck like a chicken, buck, buck. Buck like a chicken, buck, buck. Buck like a chicken, buck, buck. Oh, really? I mean, that's a coyote sound some way. Buck like a chicken, buck, buck. Buck like a chicken, like a chicken, like a chicken. Buck. Um. Glub, glub. No, that's a fish. Okay, end it. Thought you'd make an animal, make a little nose, make a little tail. I'm gonna do one better. See the moon until we pray. I'm a coyote. Looking for a kid to kill. You're gonna see me coming from the zero noise you made. I'm gonna leave you guessing how this wolf is gonna hit. I'm a coyote. Looking for a cat to eat. Yeah, I'm gonna let this cat Spin all around, toss it in the air and bury it in the ground. Make sure, make sure it's never found. Thought you'd take a search, try every day, try every night. But it's the pain of the bite that brings the nature back to life. I'm a coyote, more brave than a wolf. Hey, I'm gonna let this cat Pin all around, toss it in the air and bury it in the ground. I'm gonna let this cat spin all around, toss it in the air and bury it in the ground. Make sure it's never found. I'm gonna let this cat spin all around, toss it in the air and bury it in the ground. Make sure it's never found. The claws are getting stronger and the pack is running through. You don't have much longer till you die of paws and claws. I'm a coyote and I'm coming after you. So that was a parody of Tornado by Little, Little Big, Big Town. Town. Bye-bye, Mars. Come I don't on. actually think that song is very silly, though. Um...
It's very good, though. I love it. Bye bye. <laughs>
All right, everybody. I hope you all have enjoying. Oh, by the way, give it up for Alexander Racy one more time. Woo! Yeah. Um, remind myself, how tall am I? I'm about this tall. All right, this y'all can hear me okay if I'm saying words loud? Yes. Okay, good. Thank yes. you, Michael Spence. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, uh, don't don't be don't be blocking the me like I don't guess. Don't be blocking the me. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. He isn't. Um, uh, where would you like me to be then? Um, I I, I would like to be able to see the screen. Yes. Uh, and not have the laptop blocking me. <laughs> and only red M and M's. And it goes boop. And? All right. <sighs> okay. Hit it, sir. <laughs> or I'll, I guess I'll hit it, okay. sir. And uh... rocking, rocking, and rolling. Down on the beach, I'm strolling. But the seagulls poke at my head. Not fun. I said, seagulls, mm, stop it now. <laughs> Everyone told me not to stroll on that beach. Said, seagulls gonna come and poke you in the coconut. And they did. And they did have me going like Nothing I could do but yell When these birds attack me When I tried to run and fell And these kids start laughing And then Got hit in the neck with a hacky sack Where'd it come from? Now run, 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 jump. I can be your backpack while you run. Run, 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 jump. Now stop, put me down. I love to groove and boogie. Yeah, great. I love the dance moves. No, I don't want you to. I've had your giant feet out there on that beach. I could have outrun those birds. You're a psycho wiener. Let me grab my beater. Stop it, please. Don't hit me. Oh, please. Don't hit me. Come on, man. Quit that banging. Hey, what's that snag? You put a fish in our basket. Oh, 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 yeah. I forgot I did that. You owe me an apology. Just hold your breath and see when the time is right. Birds will fly in your face. Uh -huh. Now run, 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 jump. I can be your backpack while you run. Swing from a hairy vine. I can be your backpack while you climb. Stand on one hand and lift. Rocks with your special gift. Run, 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 run. Now breathe. That's good. Like that. Yeah, like that. One day I was walking and I found this big log and I rolled over the log and underneath was a little tiny stick. And I was like, that log had a child. Mm. Now listen, boy. Someday when you are older, you could get hit by a boulder and lying there screaming, come help me, please, them seagulls. <clears throat> Poke your knees. Stop it now. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> Was the stupidity worth it? One thousand percent. Always. <laughs> All right. Well, it is like oh, literally one minute to go. So I don't. Thank you, everyone. Give a standing ovation to Abby, our stage manager. Woo! Woo! Yeah, Abby. Hey, I'm standing. Ooh. 
meaning to abandon this feed super immediately so that they can do closing ceremony. So thank you all so much for coming all weekend long. I love you all. Hang through this pandemic. We will be back and see you in person at Funk Fest and at next year's MarsCon. Woo! Love you all! Okay. Good night, everybody! <laughs>